Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss what is mock server and how we set up the mock server by using Postman. Okay, first needs let's understand what is mock server. Mock server is a basically a fake server that acts as a real server. This helps user for testing and checking the APIs and its responses. Okay. Why we need the mock, mock server? Okay. Sometime when we are testing, right? That time API server is not ready. That is not available. Maybe that is in development phase or maybe there are some security concern, okay? Then in that case, what we can do, we can create a mock server and use the, and test the APIs. Let's create the API test. Once the actual server is available, then we can just change the endpoint URL and that will start working against the actual server, real server. Okay, so like API server is not available. Like example, when we are working in a agile process and at that time, developer are, are developing the APIs. Okay, it means that is not completely ready for testing. Parallelly tester can create the test using the Postman or some other tools by using the mock server. Okay, once the API server is ready, we can just switch the URL, okay? And we can get faster review as well as the defects for the actual server. Okay, so also there is some needs, right? If our APIs are internally dependent upon some APIs, but that API is not ready, then developer can create the mock server and then they can use that. Similar type, when the front-end applications, front-end developers developing, at that time, API is not ready, then what they can do, they can create mock server. With the help of using mock server, they can complete their front-end UI. So this is the use of the mock server. This is very useful. Now let's see how we create the mock server using the postman. So open the postman and go to the left side menu. You will see there is a mock servers option is available. Click on this. Initially, if you don't have any mock server, your request should look blank. This section. We can create mock server by using plus button or we can use create mock server this button click on this you will see this band here we have three sections in under the create new collection we have three section request method request url response code and response body so when we are sending the request so it will based on the request url it will return the back the response like here we have API, this is the get list user API. So what we can do, this is my response. We can copy this response, okay, and paste in the response section. In the request URL, we can use URL like here, this is API users, question mark page equal to two. So we can use API, users page equal to two. So this is the get method and it will always return back to the response what we have. We have response body pasted here. Here we can add the response code. What response code we will get. Next let's add one method related to post. So this is the response and response code is 2101. So paste the response here. Response code is 201. 
and then we can use here URL API users and this is the method post method like this. So these requests are created here. Okay. And now click on the next button. Similar type, we can add more methods here and then click on the next button. Here we can give the mock server name like I have test server. I'm giving the name test server. And then we have here environment. If we have any existing environment, we can select. If we don't have environment, leave it as it is. Next checkbox, save the mock server URL as an environment variable. So it will automatically create one environment where it will save the URL in variables. Next checkbox, we have make mock server as private. If we want to create the mock server as a private, we can do check this. And also if our server is a private, then we need X API key to authenticate. Next, we have simulate fixed network delay. We can check this. And once we have set up this, we can click on the create mock server. Mock server is created here, left side, you can see. And here, this is the URL. This is automatically generated, okay? We, this is our endpoint URL. If we want to go more details, click on the view collection dot. It will give us the both method detail. Like this is the one get API and next is the post API. Okay. In response, we will get this body. And in the first one, we will get this body as a response. These are the static responses. We can go in the collection and environment. Okay. In environment, you can see automatically one URL is added with the URL. Okay. Uh, mock server URL. And then in the collection, one collection is created here with the APIs. Now we can send request and you will see we will get the response. Automatically here, the APIs is created. Okay. So this endpoint URL we are getting not found. So we need to select the environment, test environment, then this environment variable will be Okay. Send the request. We will see the response. In next API, this is a post. We can send the request and we can get the API. We can add here the response request body. Okay, this is a request body and then go to here and response code you can see created. So we are getting response code as well as the response body. Then we can go here and the JSON text. This will be not validate because this is the mock server, fake server. But what response we are getting expected, those response we will get. And we can also add the assertions, verification code, verify the code, verify the content value. And when we want to run this with actual server, we just need to come here and change the endpoint URL. Now, moving to the private mock server. So we can go here, edit, and make this server as a private. Now this server is a private and we need to use the key, okay? So if I will send the request, now we will get invalid credential error. And this is the 401 unauthorized code we are getting. So now how we get the API key, okay? So we have already logged in, in the postman. So go to the here on the top, Click on the setting button, okay? It will open the cloud environment, postman of the cloud environment. There is an API key section, key section, click on this. Here we can create, generate the API 
this API I have already created. We can use this. But if we don't have any APIs, we can just click on the generate API button. Give the API name, my test API. Okay. Click on generate API button and then copy this app key. Okay. Click on close this. Now key I have copied. And we can also use here when we want to expire 30 days, 40 days like this. Okay. And then go to the APIs in Postman. Select this under the authorization section. Select the API key. And then here we need to use X API key as a key. Okay. Then value we can paste here the value keys what we copied. Click on send keys button. We will get the response. So we can create also the private mock server. Using the private mock server only we can access by using the keys. Hope this will be helpful for the mock server, creation of the mock server for your testing purpose. Thanks for watching the video.